Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. Infinitely by the Tarot, I'm CJ. How you doing, Geminis? I hope all is well with you and yours. I'm wishing you all love, light, peace, and blessings during the season for you and your families. I just want to say welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you for all of your love, your support, the donations. They greatly appreciate it. It really helps my channel. It helps me to get cards. And it helps me maintain the channel. So I truly appreciate you guys. Newcomers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the journey to unity consciousness. It begins with self, right? So with that being said, this is going to be Gemini's love message for July 2020. Um, I will be asking Spirit God Source for three different advices so that you can hold on to high vibrational energies regardless to what is going on, guys. Okay? All right. Let's get started. As we know, tarot energy is fluid, so to speak to your past, your present, or your future, okay? And if you hear any background noise, that's my fan. It is really humid and hot in New York City tonight. Roles can be reversed, flip flop, transposed throughout this message for you, okay? It can speak to romance, partnership, um, or non-romantic partnerships, right? This can speak directly to you or someone you are energetically connected to, okay? Don't hold on to the gender nor the zodiac sign. It is all energy, right? Roles can be reversed, flip flop, transposed throughout this message. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification button. Private readings are also available. The information is listed in the description box below. It will be listed below as well. Holy Spirit, let me get the messages for the overall energy for Gemini, Summer, Rise, and Venus people. Okay, so the first card that came out is Temperance in reverse. Okay, Spirit God Source is asking you to balance yourself. It's asking you to have patience this month. Okay? Asking you to find balance within. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, balance yourself. And have patience. This is Sagittarius energy here. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius, or you may have Sagittarius in your chart. Holy Spirit, is there any more overall energies for Gemini, Summer, Rides, and Venus people? Okay, then we have the Fool in the reverse as well as temperance is in reverse and the death card. So there may be a transformation. We have Scorpio here as well as Aries, okay? Or air, right? Um, the full in reverse. That is really interesting because we have Mars happening right now in the home of Aries. So some of you may feel like hesitant to take a leap of faith in a direction towards a partner. You may feel imbalanced. There may be um, a transformation happening within you, within the relationship, or this could just straight up be an ending. Okay? All right? I feel like some of you are um, imbalanced and unsure. I feel like some of you want to take the leap, but you feel like um, you don't know how after an ending. You may be stuck on the past. And roles can be reversed, but somebody may be trying to bring an apology to you. And you don't want it, it seems like. For some of you, there may be a child who is um, acting reckless. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the message for my Gemini's? This is the message for my Gemini's Holy Spirit. What do you want Gemini's summer rising people to know? And anyone who has been directed to this, to this message, Holy Spirit. I'm really getting the vibes up with this page of cups in reverse. There was some type of tower moment that happened, okay? Or someone is trying to actually prevent a tower moment. And there's some nervous energy here. Someone doesn't want an ending. Someone doesn't want um, something new. They want what they had. But there's only one person who fell off of this tower here that I'm looking at, okay? And I'm feeling that, you know, you guys started out as friends. Things were just really flirty and friendship-like. And now someone is worried about losing a friendship is what I'm feeling here, okay? Something happened. Something took place. And there's one person who is being rejected, is what I'm feeling, okay? You might be dealing with, um, you may be dealing with someone who doesn't, you know, follow the rules and has broken 
not only the connection, but the friendship that you guys had in this connection. And it's making somebody very nervous, is what I'm feeling. Stressing somebody out. They don't know if they're coming or going. Here. Okay? And this might lead to an ending of a situation. It may lead to an ending of a situation. Someone's trying to prevent this, but I feel like Spirit God's source is shaking up a connection. Holy Spirit, this is for Gemini, some of my and Venus people. What? See? We have low vibrational energy at the bottom of the deck. This is the devil. It is Capricorn energy, or you may just be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay? Oh. See? The Eight of Swords. Someone is feeling restricted. Someone is feeling trapped. Someone is feeling so confused about this connection. Someone is feeling like everything was fine and then out of the blue, boom, something happened here in the past. Okay? And it shook you off, off your your scale. Like, you're already in two minds. Right, Gemini? Like, um, you already have two sides of you, the duality of yourself. But someone has shook you up. Okay? All right? Someone has shaken the foundation here. And I feel like it's either you or somebody else, but I don't really feel like it's you. Holy Spirit, what are the other messages for this spread? For Gemini, Summer Rise, and Venus people in the month of July regarding love. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. The Magician has come out here. So you may be dealing with a Virgo. I knew it was another card to flip over here. Oh, there are a few cards to flip over here. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. There's a conversation that needs to be had, okay? There's a conversation that needs to be had. A truthful, honest conversation needs to be had here so that... Um, Things could balance out, if not in the connection, at least within yourself, okay? So, <clears throat> I feel like in the past, someone was being um, manipulative, okay? Someone was being manipulative. Like I said, you may be dealing with a Virgo, okay? You could be dealing with anybody, but you could be dealing with Scorpio, an Aquar uh, Aquarius, an Aries, a Sagittarius, okay? You can be dealing with... Um, I already said Virgo. You can be dealing with uh, a Capricorn. You can be dealing with a Libra. You can be dealing with an Aquarius. You can be dealing with anybody. Okay? Cancer is also on the board as well as Virgo. Now, in the past, you were dealing with somebody who was manipulative. Okay? You were dealing with someone who was a trickster, showing you what was going on in one hand but doing something else in the other hand. Okay? And I feel like you guys detached from one another. Or this person made you feel like you were alone if you were together. Right? If you're still together, somebody was making you feel alone. Okay? And so this energy puts you in this, I don't know what to do. It is an illusion. Okay? Feeling trap. Because there's something that, you know, a choice is a choice. Right? We can either stay or we can go. An indecision is still a decision. But somebody was feeling trapped. Someone was feeling stuck in this illusion due to the passion that they have for someone. Okay? There's some type of bond here that is hard to disconnect from. There's a lot of passion. However, this person made you feel alone, made you feel trapped, made you feel like you had to think hard on what to do in order to get your equilibrium back. That's what I'm feeling here. So someone decided to reflect and go within and find the answers. But I feel like somebody here is more of a you know a wise person who listens and nurtures and and uh is really there for some for somebody and somebody else is like a trickster somebody else is like a manipulator okay i feel like somebody went in within themselves reflected to try to figure out this what's going on in this connection here because everything used to be good there was friendship there was balance okay and I feel like some of you, you actually manifested this person or this person manifested you and you thought that this was a great connection. All right. Currently, though, I feel that um, someone is trying to make a decision. 
after reflecting on if they should move forward, okay? At the end of the day, someone just wants what is fair, right? I feel like there was an injustice, okay? Someone wants to do things fairly. Someone wants balance back in their life. Someone wants equality. Someone wants equal give and take. Someone wants what's fair, okay? And someone is trying to decide if they should leave or go, but they really don't want to take that new step into the future. They don't want that. They really don't. I feel like someone is um, not wanting to address the issues here. I feel like they're just hoping that with um, hard work and dedication and focus to this relationship, okay, that um, things will come into fruition and things will get right. That's what I feel. Okay? Um, I also feel that like I said, somebody left somebody feeling abandoned. Somebody left somebody feeling like, you know, uh, something is going on behind the scenes. Somebody is being manipulative. Somebody here may be a narcissist as well. Okay? But you have love for this person. You do. You have love for this person and you're trying to figure out what to do. Okay? Because you do not want this to end. You don't. You don't want this to end. Okay? But this is stressing somebody out. Um, there's a conversation that needs to be had is what I am seeing here. There's a conversation that needs to be had. Okay? Holy Spirit, please help shed light on this situation here. Clarify the cards on the board for my Gemini, Samurai, and Venus people. Clarify the cards on the board for Gemini, Samurai, and Venus people and anyone who has come to this message. Parker, you're also welcome here. Roles can be reversed for block transpose. But somebody is um, deceptive. Someone is deceptive. Someone is... Why do these cards keep flipping out like that? Okay, well, Spirit wants you to bring balance, okay? And this is what you want. Remember I said temperance is in reverse here? Now temperance is upright, clarifying the Eight of Swords. This is what you want. You want balance. You want to transform this relationship. You want to transform this connection. That's what you want to do. You want to bring it back to the way it used to be. I feel like Spirit Back Source is asking you to um, look within yourself and ask the hard question because this is an illusion. You're not trapped. You just don't want to, you're holding on tightly to somebody, is what I'm feeling. Or somebody's holding on tightly to you. Holy Spirit, give me more information on this Eight of Swords and the Temperance. This is Sagittarius again. Holy Spirit, give me. Okay, so with the Page of Swords, there's somebody wants to have a conversation, but when they have this conversation, it is like what they get in return is immature. Um, someone who who speaks immaturely. Okay. They think immaturely as well. They don't they don't see fault in what they're doing, in other words, is what I'm feeling here. Now, some of you are uh, in the past, some of you were looking in this person's um, phone, is what I'm feeling like, watching and lurking, watching and lurking, watching their every move, or they were doing this to you. I feel like this person was controlling you know what I'm saying? Calmed you down a whole lot by checking you, watching you, you know, telling you how they want you to act and stuff like that. That's what I'm really feeling here. Yeah, see? They were watching you and talking to you and almost like stalking you and calmed you down. Maybe you used to have fun, you used to hang out with your friends and, you know, have, have fun and just enjoy your life. And then this person came into your life and turned everything around, right? They were, uh, like I said, you guys were friends, so they would visit you, they would talk with you, they would flirt with you, and talk to you about getting together, and I feel like they kind of calmed you all the way down. Now, you know, because everything was good, but now, you know, you guys are feeling a little bit trapped here, okay? Yeah, see? You took a leap of faith with this person, 
you took a leap of faith, you said, okay, and you guys started this connection together with an Aries or a Virgo, right? Or um, an air sign, okay? But I feel like the air sign is you. But you got together, you took a leap of faith and uh, trusted this person, okay? And got into a relationship with this person, okay? All the spirit, more messages, please. Yeah, this person that you ended up taking a leap of faith with, they're non-committal, okay? They're non-committal, committal. they are gorgeous, male or female, right? <clears throat> and what happened was they made you feel abandoned once you got into the relationship with them. I feel like they boasted you, right? Okay? And now what somebody wants to do is they want to... Some of you have a child with this person. Some of you um, definitely have a child with this person or there is a child involved here. Because what happened was, with the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles here, someone left someone. This magician, this this manipulator, made you feel lonely or they left you, okay? Or vice versa, roles can be reversed. But there's a child here, okay? And now, with the Justice card, someone wants what's fair in love, okay? They want the wheel to turn in their favor. All they want is the love that they used to share, this cup of love, with the family. They want the love. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want this to move in their favor. They want it to be just. They want it to be right. They want it to be equal, give and take. That's what they want, okay? And that's the goal, okay? Rather it's with this person or not. I feel like some of you have moved on okay and if you have moved on spirit is saying that you will find new love okay and the new person will be just will be uh will treat you equally will treat you the way you want to be treated okay and it will be just because this person in the past treated you wrong okay you're going to feel all types of good good with this person here now let's clarify this um see you're gonna have victory. It fell on. It fell right on top of this um, three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in, along with this uh, justice card. You have the six of wands, so you're gonna you're going to receive offers. You're going to um, receive recognition. Okay, you have the strength to survive this, to move past this energy. You're standing on the hill, looking like a snack, to be quite honest. Okay, so don't let this manipulator make you feel otherwise. Let's get this hermit, Holy Spirit. The hermit is the high priestess here. Um, that is Pisces energy, okay? So whoever this was who made you feel abandoned, they had secrets, okay? They also know that you have love for them. They also know that you're trying to move, that you're trying to move on here, okay? They see you, okay? Um, this high priestess is very intuitive, okay? For others of you in the past, when they left you alone and isolated, when they left you um, feeling abandoned, what you did was you went within and you found the power within yourself and the discernment within yourself on how to move forward and get on the right path for you and your family. Holy Spirit, what is this Eight of Pentacles? What's the Eight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit, for Gemini, Sun, and Rise, and Venus people? So somebody is coming into your life while you're working, while you're trying to take care of your family, while you're manifesting your nine of pentacles, because you're going to go from the eight to the nine, right? Okay. Even though you feel like things aren't, um, I want to say things aren't easy, right? Like with the full upright, this is a person who is walking through life la -da -da -da. I don't have a care in the world I don't have any baggage I'm just flowing through life living life without any worries in the world in the reverse there's some stuff going on okay you're not la -di -da -di, we like to party okay you're working you're working and you're working hard okay you're working hard to maintain balance you're working hard to do what it is that you have to do for you and your family and you're not feeling as though things are really light 
hearted, right? Light and free. You're feeling a little overloaded is what I want to say. Because it's just you taking care of your family here. But what's happening is there's someone coming into your life. The lovers, okay? There's someone coming into your life who's going to provide you balance. Not give you balance, but who will be balanced. And it's going to be what you hoped for. Okay? This is the star. It's like your wish. Okay? Wishes are going to be granted, so make a wish. But you guys are not going to be single for long. Like I said, we move into the Wheel of Fortune, which is destiny, which is divine timing. Okay? This may have taken a while for this to come into fruition. But this is very significant. We have the lovers, which is you, Gemini. Okay? And then we have the star. And we have the dedicated card. Okay? Even though this Eight of Pentacles is working hard, focused, persever persevering, and working your way to your nine of pentacles for you and your families but this card here says dedication so the person who's going to come into your life is a wish come true okay now yes okay but there is somebody coming in okay these are two people who care about each other this is a divine connection this is more than two of cups remember we saw um that passion energy okay this is full of passion this is love and it's a wish fulfillment here it's a wish fulfillment this connection is going to be just, it's going to be fair, it's going to be upright, it's going to be balanced, it's going to be equal, give and take in this relationship, okay? There's love, new love, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles, this is solid. This speaks of the home. It's solid, it's grounded, it's stable, it's last, it's longevity, okay? All right? Because you are being recognized as... Um, the beautiful soul that you are, right? This is recognition. This is reward. This is victory, okay? And you were waiting for your ships to come in, and now here it is. Here it is, Gemini, okay? So there has been a death and transformation that has gone on from what you dealt with in the past to what you're going to be um, achieving now. And like I said, this may be somebody that you meet at work, okay? This may be somebody that you meet at work. This may be somebody like a Leo, okay? This may be a Leo. This may be somebody who speaks up for their self. Um, this may be you. Speaking up for yourself, defending your beliefs, defending your belief systems, but defending your ideals and your decisions, okay? Defending your transformation, right? You're not going to want to... You don't want to be with anybody, right? This is you at work. Let's say this is you. It may be the other person, but somebody's meeting at work with this Eight of Pentacles on the board as well, okay? But maybe you're hard at work and somebody is flirting with you and you're like, I don't want anything less than what I deserve. I know my worth. I know what I want. I know what I'm worth, right? Because you've been through some stuff here, okay? And you don't want any more broken foundations is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, see? The connection that you're going to meet at work, not only is it going to be built on friendship with this page of cups, it's going to be a spiritual connection, right? There's going to be a spiritual connection. And, you know, this could be at work, somebody else's job, some um, somewhere where you go to a job interview. I don't know. Okay? Different scenarios for different people. But what the cards are saying is that this relationship is going to be built on friendship. It's going to be spiritual. It's going to transform your life. You have transformed. You know what your worth is. You know what your worth is, and you're going to stand up for that. Okay? Now, for somebody else, see? Then we have the chariot, which is victorious, upward, forward movement. Not only are you going to have a new job, is what I see. It's going to take hard work and dedication, but you're going to be recognized for a job well done. Your money is going to flourish to the Ten of Pentacles, and you're going to find new love. This is definitely your season, Gemini. Okay? All right? It's going to be a spiritual connection. Maybe both of you have transformed, and you know um, both of you may have gone through something in the past. Okay? And neither one of you want that. You guys see eye to eye. This is definitely a balanced situation that's going to be built on friendship here okay built on friendship built on love okay holy spirit let's get the rest of the message for gemini summer rise and venus people there's a transformation that happens here see and with the three of pentacles this is collaborating it's also um action it's about um building up on your coins here building collaborating working together Holy Spirit, what is the Three of Pentacles for Gemini, Summer Rise and Venus people? Please, thank you. See? Spirit Guide Source has moved you in another direction. Spirit Guide Source with the Six of Swords. Spirit Guide Source has moved you 
from erratic emotional waters to calmer emotional waters. With this temperance in reverse and the fool in reverse, that's def definitely um, unbalanced energy. What is this three of pentacles that's working together, Holy Spirit, for Gemini, Samurais, and Venus people? What is this working together for my Geminis? Seven of pentacles. The seven and the three equals the ten. Okay? Building. Working together. Building your legacy. Creating your stability. Creating your security. For you and your family here. Okay? Now, some of you may be pondering on if you want to um, sow seed with this person. If you want to invest your time and energy with this person. But look, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this um, Seven of Pentacles energy, I feel like you're in two minds. Right? I feel like you're in two minds. This here is love, it's sensitivity, it's caring, it's nurturing, it's loving, it's um, being emotionally balanced, okay? This energy here is confident, it's also nurturing, but this person is wearing a mask, okay? So I feel like one side of you wants to devolve into this love, into this connection and build, but the other side of you is being somewhat stubborn, somewhat, you know, I can do this on my own, very confident energy, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like you're in two minds about this, if you want to do this or not, because of your past, okay? For others of you, I feel like this, this person, this is the Queen of Pentacles. This person, if this represents the other person, they may be looking at you like they're not sure how to um how to how to approach you because you know you're looking like you're you're kind of i don't want to say blocked but you're looking like i'm good by myself you know what i'm saying and here they are caring about you right and i feel like they're trying to figure out how to get through to you so that you guys can build together that's what that's what i'm kind of getting for some of you Holy Spirit, what is this next card for Gemini? Summarizing these people. Okay, so. Yeah, okay. In the past, there was this theft, right? The Seven of Swords, the deception I was talking about, right? You walked away from the deception, okay? What happened was, you ended up with a broken heart here. So you walked away to find your ninth cup. You walked away, the wheel moved in your favor, and you walked away to find this ninth cup, your wish fulfillment. But now, you see, with the four of wands here, this is a happy home, a happy life. This is, um, um, you know, celebrating and gathering together. And I feel like this is that person trying to softening you like they're trying to approach you and they want to be with you and i feel like some of you because of your past you may decide to walk away from this person to walk away from emotions like you don't want to be in your emotions okay but we have the two of cups here right that would be sad okay let me get one more card on this energy here holy spirit because i feel like in the past you um you went through a lot you had a happy home and you feel like somebody walked away from it either you or the other person like i said um but I feel like you walked away from your emotions when all of this happened, right? Yeah, you felt, you felt empty. You felt lost. You felt, you felt totally betray betrayed here. And now you have the opportunity to have a happy home. You see all of this energy? It's like the person in the past, there was conflict. They left three swords in your back, okay? And they left you feeling lost. Okay, they left you feeling alone. They left you feeling great sadness. Okay, and you had to walk away to find your ninth cup. For others of you, this is the person from the past who did this to you, trying to come back. And um, what's happening is they're bringing havoc to your world. They're trying to remember. I said this is the Knight of Swords. He walks in, he walks out, but he runs in, and he runs out. Don't let this person here, because of the passion and their the baby father, whomever they are, don't let them ruin this new opportunity that you have for yourself okay there's a new opportunity here don't let them ruin your happy home because i feel like you've already moved on past this you found new love okay 
You have suitors, you have someone specific who have their eye on you. And I feel like you guys have a happy home. You may even be at the point where someone wants to take this relationship to the next level, okay? And um, this, here this person comes back wreaking havoc, okay? Here this person comes back making a U-turn, right? Making a U-turn after they abandoned you, after they made you feel like you had did something wrong, right? Made you feel lost and, and you know, left you with three swords in your back. Now here they come trying to ruin your happy home, trying to cause unhappiness in your happy life because this is the sun in reverse here, okay? Don't let them do that. Let me get the two of cups, Holy Spirit. Let me get the two of cups for Gemini, Summarizer, Venus. Who is, what's, what's this two of cups? The eight of wands. Somebody wants to move this um, relationship. Like I said, this person, this new love that came into your life, they, you know, you may live with them. You may, um, you may live with them. You may, um, see, the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck, but then I have the nine of swords. That's that person who's stressing you out, coming back into your life, wanting to have a conversation now, after all of this time. Now that you have, you know, a two of cups energy here twice. The other person who's involved in this, the, the one that, that is that you're going to meet at work or wherever near your job going to work coming home from work something that has to do with work even if it's going to pick up your child from the daycare the babysitter there's somebody you're going to meet and they're going to want to push this relationship to the next level okay because they adore you and then you're you know you're feeling imbalanced because this person that you have your child with or this person who was here before this this new person is back blowing up your phone or wanting to have a conversation with you, but this person seems like a narcissist. This person is a manipulator. Holy Spirit, one more card, put it to the cups, please. Thank you. Yeah, strength. Inner strength, baby. Inner strength, see? This person comes back, they're blowing up your phone, they're talking to people that you know, they're uh, questioning you and asking you this and asking you that. Um, you know, blowing up your DM, sending you messages, and you are feeling all up in your head. But you have the strength, you have the inner strength and wisdom, okay, to know that you want equal give and take, reciprocity, what's just and what's fair, okay? I feel like this person from the past is going to offer you an apology, but with the moon card there, I feel like they still have some secrets, okay? They still have some secrets, they do. It's what I'm feeling. It's your life you know better than I do. Okay? But that's what I have for you. Let me pull some of my tell all truth cards. They don't lie. They tell the truth about the matter. See? You're going to have victory. You're smelling good. You're looking good. And like I said, you are a parent, um, a person who works hard, a wife, okay, who only wants what's right and what's fair for the family. Okay, we'll do anything for your family to keep it together, to keep it on stable, solid ground here. There are definitely children involved, okay? All right? But with the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun, you've moved on, right? you moved on. You closed out a cycle, you began a new cycle, and everything is good in your life. You met this person who is giving you equal give and take, who is giving you balance, who is giving you reciprocity, okay? And you've already cut out everything that no longer serves you after great sorrow with this ex-husband ex you know that you the ex okay the ex you had great sorrow sorrow with this person because they were a manipulator and now you have someone new in your life and here they come you know what i'm saying here they come wanting to have a conversation and you need to be honest with them and let them know you know what it is that you want okay holy spirit messages of love truth and guidance for Gemini, summarize the meanest people. For others of you, you're the one who's the new person in this person's life, and that's what this is what the other person is going through. Roles can be reversed with flop chairs, folks. Okay, you know, baby mother, baby father, ex husband, ex wife coming back and wreaking havoc on a, in a relationship that you are already, you know, in, and everything is good. Holy Spirit, what is the message for Gemini regarding this spread pertaining to the spread. Holy Spirit, what is the message for Gemini? For July 2020 is the message. 
message of love, truth, and guidance here, here, and here, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Way too many cards. Way too many cards. Thank you. Again, for Gemini, short and sweet Holy Spirit, what's the message for Gemini? See, this person that you've met, they're single for real, for real, okay? And they mean business. They're not a player. They're not what you're used to. They're not that person who runs in and out of your life. They're not a manipulator. They're not. Holy Spirit messages of love, truth, and guidance. See? This has no way, no way to this old situation, right? But it's in reverse. So you're up in your head. You're thinking about it, okay? All right? It says here it takes two. So that can go both ways, right? For the old to work, it takes two people, which this person is a manipulator. For the new to work, you got to be all in, right? Just like they are. Or both can be reversed with thought chance pose. One more card, Holy Spirit. One more, please. See? This one wanted to come out too. They played you. This person in the past, the one who goes in and out of your life, they played you. Okay? All right, the one you're in two minds about. But this says love, 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 love. The two of cups, energy. This person who is trying to take you to the next level. The one who recognizes you for your strength, for your courage, for your the beautiful person that you are. The one who's trying to make a plan with you. The one that you was waiting for, right? Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for your wishes to come true. That's who God has presented you with okay and when this person comes back in your life causing all of this havoc deception is a mist okay all right now holy spirit let me bring out the romance anchor cards see new love new love is coming in a new person has stirred your romantic feelings past life partner you have known each other before keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations yeah they're not the same as this person here now they may not be gorgeous and you know that beautiful body with a whole lot of energy and passion that just goes for what they know and it's in and out of your life but they love you okay they love you they care about you they give and provide you equal give and take okay and they are willing to Give you a ten of pentacles, stability, security, okay? All right? You know, it's up to you. It's your life, okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to bring out one last card. The power of love card, where it pertains to this thread, Holy Spirit, for my Geminis, Sun and Rising Venus people, Holy Spirit, messages of love, truth, and guidance for my Geminis, Sun and Rising Venus people, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The message for Gemini. Okay. Commitment is at the bottom. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Commitment. Present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. Present. Tolerance. You appreciate others' point of view because your sense, you sense the love in everyone. Tolerance. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. You want someone who's going to respect you, right? Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Being you, standing up for your beliefs, right? Standing up for yourself. Responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. Well, Gemini... This is what I have for you. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Um, personal readings are now available. If you like, please see the information in the description box below. Um, take care of yourself until we see each other again. Namaste.